Good evening. Yes, sir. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm good. I, I, got, I got myself. All right. Then that way you have a Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our special meeting this evening. If we could all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I'll do a roll call real quick. Thomas absent with notice. Otto absent with notice. Westover. Here. Ingstrom here. Docket. Here. Um, Braun. Here. Tick. Here. Great. Uh, uh, make a motion to adopt the balance of the agenda. Four. Ingstrom motion. Check supported. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion passes. First call to the public if there's anyone that would like to speak this evening. All right, thank you. Uh, any board member comments right now? Correspondence? All right. Uh, yeah, I, oh. I have one. I'm, yeah. I'm wondering about this meeting, if it's legal. Uh, it was posted as a closed session, I believe, 18 hours ahead of time, I would imagine. And now it's turned into a, a regular meeting that uh, the public don't know anything about that, I, that, that, that could have come, I mean. So I'm wondering about the reality of that. Yeah, for a for a special meeting, as long as the meeting's noticed for what the the purpose is, which is to discuss real property acquisition in this case, as long as it's noticed 18 hours ahead of time, which is my understanding from township staff, it was, then the question of whether it's the meeting is held in closed session or open session is really just a procedural one. All that's required for notice purposes to comply with the Open Meetings Act is. 18 hours advance notice and notice of what the meeting is regarding. And that, that, that doesn't make a difference that it was posted as a closed session. It does not. And tell me the difference between that and a special meeting. The difference between a closed session and a special meeting? A closed session is something that would happen at a special meeting. Uh, so there's, there's two different concepts there, which is a regular meeting versus a special meeting, which is a regular meeting is our second and fourth Tuesday of the month meetings. Special meetings are any other meetings. A closed portion of the meeting is where we have a roll call vote and five members agree to go into closed session versus an open meeting, which is what we normally do. So, Which only takes four people for that. For a, clo for a, for for a closed no, session? No, for a regular meeting. Correct. It yeah. takes... Okay. Uh, Thank you very much. Sir. You're welcome. All right. Anything else? Okay. Yeah, ju just, just, oh, a, go just a moment of further clarification. Uh, a closed session is not a meeting. A closed session happens in an open meeting. So we, we, when we, when before this board happened, we used to call a regular meeting at seven o'clock, used to do some business, and then go into closed session. And you know they could spend the board could spend an hour or two hours in closed session, and the individuals in the audience, if they wanted to stay till the end of the meeting, would have to wait until the end of the meeting in order to hear what was happening. We, when when I got here, we created a slightly different sort of procedure by creating essentially either a meeting, uh, a sort of posted noticed meeting ahead of time at 6 o'clock or 6.30, and that's why we come up here, right? We're in an open meeting, and then we go into closed session. So a closed session is not a meeting. It is a session within a open meeting that is closed to the public. Well, I'm not arguing that point. I just mean that if we're going to have a meeting, and, we're, and it's going to be an open meeting, and we're talking about property 
I would like to have the, the, the whole township know about the special meeting, uh, about the meeting we're having. Sure. That's the only thing I'm bringing up is nobody had much of a notice. Thank well, you. Well, we're giving people more notice than they had previously. Excuse we're me. Make, we're making a closed session open, so we're, we're, giving, we're creating more transparency, more openness, more information. But there's nobody here, Howard. Yeah, but we... If we're going to have an open meeting, well, if we're going to have an open meeting, we could have posted it. And we did. We didn't post it as an open meeting. Okay. Um, so on to our agenda item. Um, Howard, do you want to take the lead? Yeah, I, uh, I do. And then I just have some uh, uh, comments ahead of time before we kind of get into the conversation. But um, so, um, so what we're here to talk about today is uh, is the Van Curler property um, and uh, the. Uh, price of the Van Curler property in various iterations, uh, and we'll get into the details of that, um, significantly went down. And, um, you know, we've been talking, um, and I'm just going to speak for myself. This is not necessarily, you know, your all's thoughts. It's just my thought and why this meeting came to pass. Um, you know, we've been, we've been talking, and, and it was actually brought up at the last meeting, um, uh, and uh, one of the board members uh, sort of opened and, and I identified that, some stuff we were talking about in closed session, um, and so it's you know appropriate. I can say it again. We have been talking about the purchase of a lakefront park, um, and um, you know the idea of the Van Curler property had always been that it's 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 it was a significantly large purchase, 3.3 million dollars, and um, the kind of uh, price tag then uh, that was probably not appropriate uh, for a township like ours to involve themselves in sort of real estate acquisition to that nature. Um, and so anyway, uh, sort of moving forward, uh, most recently um, uh, a gentleman came into my office for full disclosure. Um, a gentleman came into my office the other day and uh, inquired about this piece of property um, and uh, actually inquired about, uh, and I want you guys to know this for full disclosure, uh, actually inquired about uh, doing some real creative things like some downtown type development type stuff. and. Potentially even, you know, we talked about a park that the township would love to have there, a lakefront park. Um, and he was uh, very uh, um, interested in, in, in making those things happen. Um, I had not known at that time uh, that the property was sort of, I knew it was on the market, but I didn't know what the cost of the property was. I didn't know what the, the list price was. Um, and then so the next morning, um, I was uh, sort of curious and, and looked on LoopNet uh, and saw the list price. Um, when I saw that list price, um, I uh, thought that it would be um, it would be appropriate and uh, and and uh, the right thing for the community um, to uh, inform you all as fast as I possibly could and, and to have the discussion as fast as we possibly could. So not saying you should or you shouldn't. I obviously personally think that this is uh, something that the township, um, you know, that uh, a lakefront park is something that would be good for the township to have and. Uh, I certainly support, uh, but ultimately that's your decision and a policy decision. Um, and so anyway, when I found out about uh, this property um, and the cost uh, specifically of the land, um, I uh, immediately called Marilyn um, and asked her for uh, permission to um, uh, call a uh, closed session, if you will. Um, and I think she, uh, what's that? A special meeting. And then I think that she uh, communicated that to Angie uh, and then the ball got rolling. We ultimately ended up deciding to uh, open it uh, as an open uh, session um, and have the conversation in public. So um, that's where we are. Uh, the, uh, you have in front of you a packet um, that includes uh, two parts of the Van Curler property. Um, the one part of the Van Curler property is 15.3 acres, um, which includes a section of the lakefront. Um, and that property is listed for $229,500. Um, the second piece that you have in front of you is a um, property that's 8.2 acres uh, that is listed for $123,000. The second piece is uh, a piece that backs up to, some, a little piece of it, backs up to Barker Road and it is sort of the bottom half of the Van Curler property in the kind of way that we've always sort of identified the Van Curler property. Obviously, the 15.3 acres is, is the piece that I think uh, will garner uh, some uh, conversation and interest. Um, you know, I, I, I think that this is something that, that um, you know, it, it, 
is my responsibility to get to you guys and bring to your attention. Um, and, and the reason why I think that that's my responsibility is because I've heard uh, and, and various board members have expressed a deep desire to have some type of Lakefront Park in Northfield Township and a central uh, location for a number of different issues. And so I obviously publicly support that um, and I felt it was really, um, it behooved me to try to act on that faster uh, rather than slower and that's why uh, this uh, special meeting has been called. Um, you know, I leave it up to you for discussion and debate and, and, and what you feel should or should not be next steps. I like it. I like it. Um, we've had many discussions already about this. Um, I think the locating and identifying the correct parcel was the key. The 15 acres is absolutely, um, I think, a, a must have. Um, and if it's in the budget, I would even recommend uh, getting the additional eight acres. I don't think it's just us that likes this idea. I, I'm assuming I'm. Hi. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, but you're you're coming in soft. For okay, some sorry. <coughs> there you go. I um, don't feel that it's just the board or some of the board members that think this is a good idea. We've heard from multiple residents from one end of the township to the other that if there was any opportunity to purchase a Van Curler property, that would be a prime piece of property to have to develop our downtown area to provide the, some lakefront uh, uh, opportunities for our residents as well. So. I, I just, it fell into our laps at a time when we're discussing it, and I, I think it's something we really need to act on. Uh, I'll make it short and sweet. I think it's ideal. Um, I asked Tammy to be here, um, and Tammy, if, if you don't mind uh, uh, just uh, saying what your thoughts are. Oh, well, I think it's, I think it's the perfect thing to do. I really do. Um, basically, the prevailing attitude I hear at the center from everyone is that a lakefront park is what the township is lacking, and that it would, you know, they, everybody feels that it would, you know, bring a lot to the township in terms of boosting the downtown area, giving the the residents, you know, a place to go that don't have waterfront access otherwise. Um, so I. I feel it's really the best thing to do. In addition, in addition to the park that we've always talked about, I like you know the size of it. We can you know that we're always lacking parking for any of our events. You know for the fireworks. Uh, in the past, we've had fairs back on that 15-acre uh, parcel. I think it's wonderful. The other thing I just want to mention for full disclosure, Mr. Wagner wasn't able to be here tonight. I did let him know about it. He d he does, uh, and I just want to be clear, he does have some uh, concerns on the liability side for a beach. You've heard that in the past, um, and so I just wanted to remind you of that as well. Um, I think this also eliminates the liability issue or the maintenance issue that might have been if we were looking at another piece of property that had already had a building on it that we were considering, you know, um, that would require some kind of maintenance. I do have a question. Um, the 8.2 acres, the little small sliver along that, is that wide enough for access to the, you could use it as a driveway possibly into the rest of the area off of Barker, or is it too small? I don't know. Okay. I mean, we just, we have not, we have not been able, I, I, the only thing that I have done in terms of actual, um, uh, you know, sort of uh, going out and walking the property is, is I wanted to be clear where that lakefront piece was on the 15.3 acres. So my understanding, and I haven't, I haven't verified this on a survey, but just looking at the parcel boundaries, is if you look at the very end of where the post office is, you know, there's a little row of trees right there at the end of the post office on the end of their property, and then from there to what I can see as the line of al dente pasta and where their fence is, and that's that lakefront piece. And I wanted to sort of visualize that lakefront piece. Um, and the, but to answer your question, Janet, I, I just, I mean, yeah, I no, it's not that I, well, I, I don't know, and it's just, I haven't had time to to look at those kind of details. Um, Janet, just that, that one sliver that you see, well, there's two slivers. The one to the left is, a, you know, um, to the left of Marco's, and the one to the right, there was an um, older, oh, it was torn down years ago. Um, and I'm going to guess that's a 50 or 60 foot wide lot. So I don't know what a road would require. I don't, it wouldn't be a two way, but possibly. Yeah, maybe well, something my to thought get was if it's, you're providing two ways of access to the area, then it alleviates traffic on one yeah. road. 
And then uh, the only reason I would like to, you know, I'm for sure definitely the 15, if anyone's in, you know, agreement to possibly grabbing, you know, getting the other eight acres, I think that would be wonderful. We've always talked about, you know, something that we could do for the downtown, and this would be, you know, not only the park, the parking, but maybe some future development type stuff or design ideas that uh, could be done. Yeah, I agree. Um, Howard, can I make a motion to, you know, give you authority uh, at this time? Um, you can. I uh, what? You, I, I believe you can. Uh, Brad? Yeah, I, I think what we would be looking for tonight would be uh, authorization to make an offer. Obviously, uh, and I was sharing this with Howard earlier, I, I spoke with Steve Mann earlier today about possibilities if the, if the board wanted to finance this in some way, whether through a land contract with the seller or whether through uh, standard financing through a bank. Um, it's my understanding from Steve that the township could authorize an offer price tonight, but that there would have to be a later on resolution authorizing the mechanism of the financing and the, the shape of the financing, but that that wouldn't interfere with the township authorizing an offer tonight. Uh, and you could also, uh, and, and I just want to throw this out there because Mr. Dockett suggested it, and I. I think it's a good suggestion to ponder as well. You could also um, make an offer of a um, uh, of an option uh, with a, with a purchase price. So, uh, and I'm just throwing out numbers. I'm not suggesting that you have a number or not. Um, but like, let's say, for example, you were to make a full price offer on the 15.3 acres. You could say, we would like 60 days. We will give you. A certain amount of money, let's say two or three thousand dollars, whatever it is, for 30, 60 days worth of due diligence, and then if we decide to pull the trigger, we'll pull the trigger at the list price. Is that right? right. Yeah. That's the first thing that should be done. We shouldn't even talk about buying it. Uh, in my opinion, it should be. But you uh, have to. If you're going to do be that, an you option. have to. Excuse me, Howard. Should be. A, a, it's an option. Uh, I don't. I don't think that we should buy anything without having a rudiment, you know, some sort of a survey, so I can see some flags, see see some. some I mean, it, it, we're not seeing anything on here, so it's pretty stupid to buy a piece of property. To, I mean, tonight to make some offer on something we don't even know what it is. We we need to get we need to get the uh, the. Uh, Polar Bear Club out there and see what the beach is like. I mean, yeah, they mean they can add those contingencies. Lots of things, in. lots of things have to be done. The only way to buy this, in my opinion, I'm not going to support it. Uh, but uh, unless it was two or three meetings for the public, get some feedback from them. But uh, you should ask for an option, and like Howard said, a couple thousand dollars. Uh, let them give you 90 days. You've got time to do the survey. You've got time to check it out. Uh, uh, I, I don't think it's a. I don't think it's something that should be done tonight. That's my opinion. Thank you. J just if I may briefly, Madam Supervisor. Don't go it right ahead. Um, I th I think Mr. Dock is absolutely right. Um, what we would propose would not be a, a purchase tonight. It would be either an option with. Uh, uh, an option price and a purchase price or else a purchase agreement which calls for a certain amount of due diligence time period we'd recommend 90 days to look into getting a survey getting title work done getting financing getting any environmental evaluation that we want to do done but uh, you're absolutely right Mr. Dockett we would not be looking for a, an outright purchase we'd be looking for a purchase agreement with due diligence period I don't think they'll give us 90 I, I, think, I, I think, think they may give us 60 I think we would ask for 90. Yeah, and then take what you get. And, and what, what what would you think would be reasonable? $2,000? For an if option? We, if we don't buy, they keep it, which which I have no problem with. For for the price of the option, you're saying, Mr. Yeah, Dockett? For, yeah, for the I, option. I'll be honest with you. I, I haven't done an option purchase in some time. I'm not sure what sort of the going rate would be, but I, I would think that we would base it off of some percentage of the, of the actual purchase price. I, I, I think, you know, Based on my understanding of the Van Curlers and and and, uh, and where Mrs. Van Curler is with these properties, I think they will give us some due diligence time. I think if we want more due diligence time, we're going to have to pay for it. Well, so I've got a feeling that we'll get some level of due diligence time if we wanted it. 
And if we wanted to go into, you know, my personal opinion is if we wanted to go into the 90-day time frame, you know, that we probably will need to pay for an option. Um, That's correct, but it's a fair price. There's no, I mean, you're not you're not going to try to beat them down. I don't know. No, if I, I, agree I don't know if you are or not. But if I, you offer them a, an option and you're giving them what they're asking, uh, I, I would I, think they'd I, give it to you. I'm not disagreeing with you, Mr. Tockett. <laughs> We're not arguing. So, I, as I said when I first started, I thought it was a good suggestion. So. Um, so I think what we should, well, that's, I mean, well, I guess what's the pleasure of the board? I'm willing to put a motion forward. I just need to prepare one. Um, and we want to wait just a second and see if it's what everyone likes. Yeah, that's fine. If you're going to authorize it as an option, though, you should make sure to give both the option price and the ultimate purchase price. In other words, how much you want to pay for the time of the option. And how much you want in time. Exactly. Well, it's not the cost of the option. It's how much time you want is the more critical piece. Because they make... Give us some room. Give us some flexibility. Well, h h how about you do this? How about you, how about you give us, a, how about you give us a maximum to? Uh, let me let me ask you this question: How many days of due diligence do you want? Excuse me, Howard, I can't hear you. What? How many days of due diligence do you want? How many days do we want? Sixty days. days. Yeah. I'd say ninety days myself. Mr. Dockett, everybody else is saying sixty. 60. I don't know if you're hearing them. Well, I, you asked me. I told no, you. No, no, I'm, I'm saying I'm just ex I'm just okay, putting it out hear, to you. I didn't hear them say sixty days. Brad, would you be wanting to do an environmental? Yeah. I think it's certainly something we would want to look at in terms of a phase one. Before. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. do them very often, but... Um, you ask for 60, 60 you might get 30. You ask for 90, you might get 60. Yeah. Well, you can always you know, get an extension if need be or whatever, but I would imagine you could get an environmental by then. Well, and they're actively out there surveying at least the stone and the yellow house. Well, I mean, you, a phase one you can get in 60 days. A phase two, right. that's a different story. Right. And actually, I would, I would be more comfortable with a phase two. Because a phase one is only going to get you historical we land got that use right. analysis. We got that right here, right? I don't know what you're talking oh, about. A phase one environmental study gives you the history of the property to say if there's possible any contamination that you'd have to be worried about and clean up. But you right here, is you are probably our phase one. Yeah, you're, good, you're as good as a phase one gets, Wayne. Because <laughs> um, has anyone, anything ever been there? Any dumping ever on that property? Yeah, yeah, yeah cows. <laughs> well, and so, and so, yeah. so this is why I'd rather skip. Mi it. Michigan football team used to stay at the at the big hotel in town. This is going way back, and they they scrimmaged there all spring. Wow. wow. So, so this is why I'd rather skip directly to the phase two because I want to get some soil testing done, and that's going to be that's a phase two analysis. So that's ninety days. I I think you're going to need ninety days to do everything that we're going to want to do, which would. Uh, I think we could get it done in 60, but it's going to be pushing it. Um, uh, but I think what we're going to want to do is survey it. I think we're going to want to understand the lakefront piece. I think we're going to want to understand the soil on the lakefront piece. I think we're going to want to understand the soil conditions on the property. I think we're going to want to understand uh, the con you know, potential contamination. So we're going to sure. do some soil testing throughout the whole site, and that's going to end up being you know, uh, multiple places. We'll probably want to... I mean, we may not actually need to have any soil borings done uh, at the very moments, but, you know, those are all... We're not building on it. Maybe. We won't build on it, but... I it, hope not, anyway. Uh, I mean, there's, there's nothing to suggest that the township board couldn't, you know, try to say that we won't use all 15.3 acres and have some of the land as potential for um, helping soccer fields. Uh, soccer fields or even helping create, you know, the downtown. 
and uh, you know, uh, sort of acting in that way. So I, I'm not suggesting what you should do. I mean, there's just lots of options out there. I, I would like to see. I don't know if we. I don't know if we need a full survey. I don't know how they do it, or do they have to do that? I'd like to see the, 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 the corners. I mean, I'd like to be able to go there and look at the property. That's, that's where I'm coming from. Uh, well, that's that's going to take you at least a few weeks, yeah. you know, to, to get somebody if out there we, to survey we, it and state Yeah, it. if we don't buy it, I don't think we need to do a full survey on it. I think we need to find the, 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 the corners. Um, you know, I, I, think, I think 60 days will do it. I think 90 is better. So... And how does it, I'm almost done with this motion, but um, can any, you anyone feel like sharing their thoughts on uh, trying to get both of them together? Are you talking about two pieces? Yeah. Oh, come on. We certainly don't need the other piece, folks. Well, this yeah. is just, the, the, we're not committing uh, uh, to no, anything no, right that, now. That, that's, that's baloney. Uh, we, we, we already got, uh, look, at, look at our fire hall up there, 75 Barker, the paint's peeling off, the, the parking lot, Looks looks like a war has been going on there. Uh, 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 Darling Curtis's property. We don't take care of anything. We don't need the property. It, um, I, I want to hear everybody else's thoughts. Um, so please, I, I'd like to hear everyone's thoughts. It's not on the a full eight. commitment with an option or even a purchase agreement with your due diligence. I'd like to see it as a package, and if it, then we can decide at a later date. Right. You know, when we have the rest of our board here. Yeah, absolutely. And 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 the other thing I was thinking is if it was just a thought. If if you wanted the 8.2 acres with it, if um, and you offered a full price on the 15.3, you may want to offer less on the 18 right. on the eight. Right. Correct. Um, and I'm thinking like 100 or something like that. Yeah. Package or I'll, okay. So anyway, those are just some thoughts. I mean, do you do I, do I have to get that specific, or can I just? Um, well. I, I think that you need to. I think you need to um, give us direction on the on 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 the uh, each one. Okay, I'll do one at a time then. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll make a motion to approve Howard and Paul Burns' office to move forward with an 90-day option on the 15-acre parcel owned by Van Curler, and/or a purchase agreement with a 90-day due diligence, and authorized to offer full price. I'll support. And are, are, are we giving them anything for the option of the 90 days? 2,500. Uh, sure, 2,500. Uh, well, let's say up to 5,000. Okay. Still in agreement? Yes. Okay. We'll start. We'll start at 2,500 for 90 day option. Okay, and uh, so we had um, Ingstrom motioned and Chick supported. So uh, those in favor? Aye. Oh uh, wait! Can we have a roll call. Uh, oh, yep. I, I I have something to say about this. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I don't believe that you you four people should make the decisions about this. I believe we should have uh, several meetings, a couple of meetings, with the uh, residents of Northfield Township, and get some kind of feedback from yeah. them. Uh, I I think you're you're making a, a wrong decision for you for, for 8,000 people. Thank you. And Wayne, I agree with you 100%. And because the offers will have, you know, 90 day due diligence or a 90 day option that does give us the opportunity to hear the public. It's just an opportunity to tie up the property for a short time. And so no one else can purchase it. Uh, so, so what are you asking for? You asking for 90 days? Yes. And you're offering how much per uh, option? You're asking for an option uh, to up buy. To, up to five thousand dollars for the uh, option, uh, or that's, that's pretty, in pretty heavy if we don't buy it. Uh, right, I, but I, I, just I would, so we don't have to keep coming uh, back. Yes, we well, would the, like the price is right on the. If you're going to give them the what they're asking, I, I think two thousand dollars is plenty on the option. That's my opinion. Which we don't even I, have to go the option route. A purchase agreement with due no, diligence no, is the same no, thing, and it won't no, cost no, you any money. No, you need an option. I, I'm going to vote no. All right. Was it a roll call? Westover. Yes. Ingstrom, yes. Docca. No. Braun. Yes. Check. Yes. Thank you. And I've got another motion coming. Hold on.
All right, so, uh, um, sorry. Um, I, yeah, so then I think you can, oh. what? Oh, okay. Well, did you use a did you use a property number? Or what? How did you make the? How, how did you? Well, there's about eight lots there. I mean, you you better you better do better 3, than that. Fifteen point three is presented in your packet. I'll make a uh, motion to approve Howard and Paul Burns' office to move forward on an option ninety day option or purchase agreement with 90-day due diligence on the Van Curler property. And I, w I would start low on this one, just so you guys, I mean, that's my opinion. Yeah, which is the 8.2 acres as presented um, for $100,000. I, I Not to exceed, I, sorry. I would go lower than that, just to start. Right. We just hope that they are not informed of it. <laughs> <laughs> not to exceed 100. All right. What for the option? Yeah, for uh, not to exceed 100 for purchase How price. How much for the option? How much for the option? No option mm. on this one? No, no option. No yeah. option? So not to exceed 100, we ask for 90 days worth of due diligence. We go from there. All right. But if you do end up going with the purchase, uh, you know, you can go a purchase agreement too for the, you know, all of it. And did I get purchase agreement and or option you on did. this? Okay. You did. You gave us on the first motion. You said uh, purchase agreement and or option at full price, and the option up to five thousand dollars for a ninety day option. And we will start uh, lower than five thousand. We'll start at two. We, we said 2500 but we'll start at two for Mr. Dockett. Great. Okay, so the motion's complete. I'm sorry, I got uh, sidetracked over there. <laughs> okay, let's do it. It's not written down. So, a motion to approve Howard and Paul Burns' office to move forward on either a 90-day option and or a purchase agreement with a 90-day due diligence for the Van Curler property as presented to us, which is the 8.2 acres of vacant land. Oh, wait, with the purchase price not to exceed $100,000 and the option price to be no more than, not to exceed three? No option on that one we're doing? I think if you made an option price of a thousand dollars, at least that gives us the ability to offer it with an option, if uh, option price of a thousand dollars, if needed. Yeah, we're gonna on. Okay. Any further discussion? Roll call vote. I start to my right. Check. Yes. Ron. Yes. Docket. No. Ingstrom. Yes. Westover. All right. On that second one, because I know that there's a little bit of hesitation on that second piece, or uh, it's it's not as it's not a, it's not like the first piece. We're we're gonna we're gonna try to make sure that you know if on that second piece, if for some reason we have a different line of thinking in 30 days or 60 days, that we have a lot of flexibility on that second piece, obviously. So. Yeah, I just wanted to give you a, enough we wanna, yeah, authority to go tie it up. Yep. All right. Um, I believe if any, uh, we are done with our agenda item, unless anyone else has any more comments. No. Second call to the public. No. Board member comments. Um, um, I have an announcement. Okay, I'll allow it. <laughs> I, I, I have a board member comment. I I think we're. I, I as I stated earlier, uh, I think four people on this board's making a very very big decision without having input from the residents of Northfield Township. My board member comment is uh, to go along with Wayne's and um, yes, I agree with him, but um, we do have a long period of time to ask the public for their opinion before anything is finalized. Agreed. Uh, uh, very Howard, quick. anything? Yeah, very quick. Uh, the Planning Commission, I forgot to mention this at the last meeting and I apologize. The Planning Commission uh, voted to, Janet, correct me if I'm wrong, Planning Commission voted to uh, postpone uh, the survey 
uh, for a year um, and that needs to go back to the Board of Trustees uh, as to what you guys want to do and, and how you guys want to resolve that contract. Yeah, um, so that is correct. They, huh? they, they were willing to wait uh, yeah, yeah. So, so that for one year and one day, I think it was. Right, yeah. so that will be back on the agenda at the next meeting, um, and I wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. I had meant to make that as an announcement at the last meeting, and it totally slipped my mind. So. And you have the figures of what they charged us, what they yeah, what I'll have we, all those what we paid, yeah, well, have all those presented what the balance is. And I'll have all that presented to you in the packets. Great. If we're done, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Support. Thank you.